renewable energy revolution in Hawaii, and it really is a revolution because it's a community-wide effort. One of the things that's changed for us is that the utility no longer controls all of the resources, the generation, the transmission, the distribution. A lot of that is actually being provided by third parties. And also the consumer now in Hawaii has a major, major role to play because we're one of the places in the United States that has the most rooftop solar. 13% of our customers have uh, rooftop systems, but if you actually just look at the single family homes that have roofs, that penetration is now at about 30 percent. Um, why did that happen? Um, it was really a confluence of factors where you had not only the um, 30 percent federal tax credit, but we had a 35 percent state tax credit, then we had full net energy metering at the retail rate, and our retail rates really spiked when Japan had Fukushima back in 2011 and all of a sudden they shut down their nukes and they went to burning oil. Um, and we buy oil sourced in the Asia Pacific region, so that drove our oil prices through the roof, drove our rates through the roof. And so all of a sudden we had rates that went, were from about 22 cents a kilowatt hour on our main island to about 34 cents a kilowatt hour. So you can see that all of a sudden uh, rooftop solar became very economic. And so when I think about uh, you know, why, why did this all happen? We all talk about trying to design markets and um, very important to get the policies right and the regulatory framework right. Well, actually, in Hawaii's case, the market just operated. <laughs> and that's because the payback period on rooftop solar was about two or three years. If you're a homeowner, wouldn't you do the economic thing? You would certainly invest in a rooftop solar system. And so that's, uh, you know, that's what happens. Markets can op operate much more quickly than regulatory frameworks can. Um, so that's, I think, the exciting challenge for uh, all of the people who deal with policy and regulation is to get that framework set so that once it is set and all the, the market um, cost structures and all are aligned, um, the markets can just take over and make it happen. Hawaii now has a 100% RPS goal for, by 2045. Everybody in our state, um, and largely because Hawaii is a beautiful place and people really care about the environment, they really want to move to 100% renewable energy. That means that we've got to keep challenging the edge of the envelope to figure out how to integrate all of the rooftop solar and all of the other renewable resources that are coming on the grid. We have to explore things like um, distributed energy resources, demand response. We're working with some companies that are uh, aggregating the capacity of storage units at commercial and industrial customers to use that in demand response programs with us. So lots of new areas that we're um, just charting the course for. Because security is such a big issue now, um, as we modernize our grids and as we move to more renewables that are depending on um, technologies like the advanced inverters, people are very focused on those security issues. And so I actually think because we're now focused on it, it will make our grids more secure. Even though there's more exposure, because we're focused on those issues and we are addressing them, uh, will be much more secure. This is a fantastic conference, Marty. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. There's um, such a plethora of people from all walks of life who are so interested in how we uh, get to 100% um, renewable, very high renewable, um, and actually help save our planet.